Welcome. Welcome to this very special celebration, ceremony, reunion, um, and party even for one of our most important founding mothers of school-based health centers in California, and really um, one of our strongest and most beloved ancestors in the movement for adolescent health, school-based health, and, um, and real uh, unrelenting equity lens uh, and public health lens, Dr. Barbara Staggers. Barbara, we know you're not here in the room with us today. We can't see you, but we know you're watching and we hope you're with your family. There are so many people here um, and everywhere that love you. I'm especially grateful and privileged to co-present this award to Barbara today, because in addition to her litany of professional accomplishments, uh, she also made a very personal impact on me in my journey in school health. Many people in the Bay Area and now dispersed across the, con the country were trained, educated, nurtured, and woke by Barbara. And not just clinicians, but people like me, people who had just come out of a public health program or social work or health education, who wanted to do this work and thought they loved teenagers, but had so much to learn. And Barbara managed to dispense her experience and her wisdom with so much generosity, gentle patience and humor. When I overlapped with her at Berkeley High School, she had a busy clinical practice and teaching responsibilities at Children's Hospital. And yet somehow she always seemed to have time uh, and patience and be relaxed and accessible. She made time for me and my colleagues using those same adolescent medicine techniques of non-judgmental listening, motivational interviewing, harm reduction. I know that she did what she did out of true compassion and love, love for kids. And at the same time, she was cultivating generations of fierce youth champions. Barbara was ahead of her time in so many ways, introducing me and countless others to what we now call the social drivers of health. She knew that teens where we worked in Berkeley and Oakland might need inhalers or TB tests or vaccines, but what they really needed many times was a job, um, good meal, uh, training, lawyers maybe, to be seen and heard, and hugs. Barbara was a great hugger. She also knew that their families needed those things, even when the family sometimes seemed to be part of a student's difficulty, and she was one of the best at threading that needle. We've heard a lot about Oakland today and how it's a leader in school-based health, it wasn't always that way, and it's no accident that that's where Barbara got her start. In her casual and non-credit-taking way, Barbara helped spark a small but mighty empire and helped situate Oakland and then Alameda County as a leader in school-based health care to this day. She didn't do it all, but she did a lot of old-fashioned advocacy, activism, and base building, and we have inherited that. All of us, and especially those, those of us with teenagers in, in Oakland schools, owe her such a debt of gratitude. Barbara, so many people wanted to speak today, which is a testament to your impact in, on so many levels. We're going to feature a few of your biggest fans, and the first is your longtime friend and once nurse, Alvin Hendricks. Alvin. Hello, Barbara. So, I met Barbara first back in 2005. Um, I was introduced by Karen Newmark. Um, she basically um, talked me into meeting with Barbara for a 15 minute meeting, which I think turned into a 30 minute meeting. And she basically told me what her thoughts and her ideas was about opening a clinic at McClyman's High School. So for me, um, I was a happy baby nurse, actually. I worked maternity at Alta Base and I was perfectly happy with my job at the top of my salary scale and just basically kicking back and relaxing and waiting for retirement. Well, after talking to Barbara for those half an hour, I went back and quit my job and <laughs> embarked on trying to open a clinic, which I had never done before. Um, on McClyman's campus. Um, so the thought was for just to open the clinic and leave and I ended up staying and became the nurse at McClyman's and um, 
Chappelle Hayes and ended up becoming the lead nurse for adolescent medicine division. Um, during that time, I learned so much from Barbara. Like when I first met her, I didn't even know what a heads assessment was. Um, <laughs> it's just an incredible amount of knowledge that she gave me, an incredible amount of trust. Um, she trusted me to just take care of everything and I wanted to make sure that everything was pristine for her. Um, I just adore you. Um, my mother still asks about you. Um, whenever COVID's over and she hits town, you know she's ready to bake you a German chocolate cake and bring you the whole thing. So be ready for it if you're around. I just want to say I love you and I really understand why you like purple so much. It's the color of royalty and that's what you are. You are a queen. Thank you and I'm passing the mic to Ken. Hi, Dr. Staggers. Long time no connect. It's such an honor to be here today. I first wanted to share a short poem by Adila Ko. I feel it in my bones now, time slowly slipping away. An urgency is building to say all I didn't or couldn't say. I feel the need to pass on the lantern of my life. Perhaps you may gain something to help you through some strife. It is quite an honor to be here and to contribute a tale on how Dr. Stagger's legacy continues to show up in marvelous and magical ways. With a vision of equitable health care as well as her dedication to direct care the, of the underserved youth of our city here in Oakland, Dr. Staggers is a dynamic healer, an inspiring leader, and a respected mentor with a grounded intention of manifesting racial and economic justice through compassionately comprehensive medical care. Way back in 2003, Dr. Staggers went out on a limb to greenlight this gay white male who wasn't even licensed to step in as the first social worker from Children's Hospital to be a therapist in the student center at McClyman's High School, long before the construction of Chappelle Hayes Health Center began. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity for me and in acknowledging all of my privileges, I want to thank Dr. Staggers for seeing potential in that much younger version of myself. Dr. Staggers has a profound influence on my lifelong journey of learning and unlearning so I could become somewhat more effective in challenging and dismantling systemic oppression. In other words, in addition to the youth of Oakland that we've served over the years, benefited from her care, Dr. Staggers has allowed me a chance to contribute to the growth and success of the school-based health care centers, and I'm forever grateful to be a part of her team. So inspired by Dr. Stagger's radical, radically innovative approach to adolescent medicine, I was able to offer yoga to the school staff, you know, the football team and wrestling team. And I hope it's okay to say this, but Medi-Cal paid for all of the yoga that we offered the students. And as part of that a student initiated endeavor, another therapist and I, Vasi and I, we, we were invited into the school to help create a safe space for the LGBT youth there. Now, these two examples might seem somewhat standard or acceptable than compared to 15 years ago, and that's exactly my point. Dr. Staggers has inspired those of us around her to map out the possibilities, strategically nudge the paradigm so that more youth are able to receive quality health care. After leaving Children's, I was able to continue to, to channel Dr. Staggers and optimize care resources for transitional age youth at Civicor. Not only did I continue to link care for the, the core members back to the, the health center with Alvin, uh, we also were able to take a tiny bit of seed money and create a holistic health center at Civicor that had social work interns, acupuncturists, massage therapists, and chiropractor. A little bit of care and a small amount of money can go a long way. Over the years, I had got to interact with so many young adults and they've told me so many touching stories about how they felt heard, seen, and nurtured the teen clinics. More specifically, five years ago, I had the joy of being randomly reunited with a former Chappelle Hayes patient in downtown Oakland. Wearing scrubs and heading to work, she proudly shared that she was a medical professional at a local nonprofit healthcare center. And just last year, she reached out to give me another update that she's now actively engaged in promoting food as medicine at various Oakland schools where she sets up and sustains vegetable gardens while carrying on Dr. Stagger's, Stagger's vision of well being for the next generation of youth here in Oakland. May we continue to celebrate the countless ways Dr. Stagger's has brought health, a sense of community, and creative possibilities to the youth of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. 
Dr. Staggers, thank you so much for sharing the lantern of your life, inspiring each of us to light our own and helping so many deal with strife. I wish you many, many years of health and happiness as you graduate from the teen clinic. Thank you. I'm passing the baton on to Jennifer. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Miller and I'm a pediatrician here locally in the East Bay. I am so thrilled to be able to be here to honor this very special woman. I've had the pleasure of knowing Dr. Staggers for the last 20 years. I met her during residency and was energized by her passion. I did a rotation in adolescent medicine and knew I had come home. I appreciate her for so many things, but due to time constraints, I will just share a few. I love the way she made her patients feel normal. Whether their household had one parent, two parents, or none, they were accepted. Whether affected by violence or trauma, substance abuse or pregnancy, they were accepted. Dr. Staggers had a way of making everyone feel accepted. Patients, residents, staff, and doctors alike. Everyone was welcomed in Dr. Staggers' clinic, and you knew it. Not only were you accepted, but you were loved and appreciated. Dr. Staggers took care of her patients as if they were her kids. If there was everything, ever anything her kids needed, she would move heaven and earth to do it and would often bring you along for help. She spoke up for them with their parents and caregivers. She advocated for them in their schools and with their teachers. She always gave everything she had to her patients. As a provider, Dr. Staggers has been a mentor to me. Not only did she teach me when I was a resident, but she offered me a job when I finished. She taught me all that I know about adolescent medicine and school-based health centers and is a big part of the reason that I love the field as I do. She counseled me when it was time for me to change jobs and has remained a touch point for me during my career. Today, I celebrate Dr. Staggers as a teacher, mentor, provider, colleague, and friend. We have all been very lucky to have worked with her and influenced by her. Thank you, Dr. Staggers, for all that you do and have done, and I love you. And I am passing the baton on to some videos, I think, because I don't think Alex is here, right? Oh, there's Alex. I pass the baton to Alex. Gosh, I'm, I'm holding tears back from all of it. Uh, so first, um, Barbara has a unique ability to treat you the way you could be without making you feel bad at all that you aren't there yet. And the primary lesson Barbara has taught me far and away more important than any of the Medicaid financing and school bond strategies is that before all else, love and second only to love and slightly second, Alliance. Barbara is the most important person in my professional life and has been for many, many years. She's also the most important person in my personal life after my wife and children. She has taught me so much about the wisdom and intelligence of young people, and she has fundamentally transformed my approach to how I live and how I work. The biggest thing that Barbara taught me is that young people are not tired, broken, or sick. They may act like they are, but that's not who they are. Who they are is the beauty, the wisdom, and the intelligence that she somehow sees before and more fully than any other person I have ever interacted with. She is not faking it. Jennifer said, when you work with Barbara or you're her client, you feel loved, it's real. She actually does love you and you don't question it for a second. I'd like to thank Barbara so much for what she's offered to me personally, professionally, but most importantly to the field. We all intend together to make public systems tools for anti-racism and social justice. And that framework was gifted to us by knowing and working with Barbara. I love you, Barbara. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, all speakers. 
we now have three videos from um, from loved ones that could not be here on live ca on camera today. So please bear with us as we bring up the technical feed. Hi, Barbara. It's David. Um, I am so honored to say a few words. I know I don't have that much time because um, I can go on and on uh, about you and the incredible things that you've done. Um, I would not be where I am today um, if it wasn't for you. Um, you ha are my mentor in adolescent and young adult medicine. Um, I've learned, I learned so much from you. Um, I believe that I was, you gave me a position as medical coordinator, maybe at McClyman's High School, School Base Health Center. Anyway, that was fun. Um, I really enjoyed that. Then I went off to fellowship. Um, you know, my, from my third rotation um, as an intern um, with adolescent medicine and deciding to go into adolescent medicine, my road uh, has been shaped by you. Um, I am now a division chief of adolescent and young adult medicine here in San Diego. Um, and I am so grateful uh, for you. And I am so grateful that you are a role model uh, that I uh, aspire to get close to um, the many accomplishments that you've done. Um, I want to say I love you um, to the moon and back. Um, I really, really want to congratulate you for this honor. And I hope to see you soon. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. So I have known you, Barbara, since I was a nurse practitioner student way back in the mid-90s, and I was really uh, privileged to be able to work with you at the teen clinic at Children's Oakland, and you've been an amazing inspiration and role model to me ever since. So congratulations on this huge honor. Hi, Dr. Staggers. Barbara. I don't think I've ever called you Barbara in my life, but... You're always Dr. S to me. But um, it's Vasi from the early Chappelle Hayes days at McClyman's. And I just wanted to say I'm so glad that we're doing this honoring of you. Thank you to everybody who is contributing and this extended community who's a part of it. I want to thank you for um, so much. But, you know, as a younger clinician of color coming into the work, you have changed uh, everything about my practice ever since and some of the ways that it was to just see you as who you are, a black doctor pulling up other clinicians and medical folks of color and then fighting so hard for communities that we um, love and um, just the ways that watching you be um, uh, just you know a real leader in the work but then um, everybody you knew everybody's name uh, everyone was on a first name family generational basis with you I just um, learned so much permission for who I could be um, in my authentic self um, by working with you and it was just inspiring to be a part of all that you have made possible um, I can still see your purple scrubs in my mind's eye all the time. And I also can hear your voice in the way that you would say, hey boss, uh, when you would see me. And I love that that endures across time and distance. And I just have so much love and appreciation for you and all of the amazing people that you brought together. Um, and yeah, I hope that the celebration um, hits all the right places, and I just love, 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 appreciate you in the world. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, ah, so glad to be here. I just want to invite everyone just to breathe in and really yeah. feel your heart, and feel the ground um, as we honor this giant, right? Who is here in, in our midst. Um, I'm going to pass it to Kimmy to go next. Thank you. Um, hi, Barbara. I miss you so much. Um, and um, I want to thank you personally for my career when we started working in early 2002 uh, in the Berkeley High School Health Center um, trailers after the fires. Um, and one of the things that I want to point out before I give you this accommodation is I'm not sure if you remember but that small trailer, the medical clinician's chair went out into the hallway because they had a closet for doing charting. And we had to do consults in the single bathroom that we had for both clients and staff. And sometimes we had to chase out the mice and the ants and plunge our toilets and vacuum our own clinic. It's way different now because of people like you. And Today, we have 28 school health centers and we invest millions and millions of dollars in them in Alameda County. So on behalf of the Alameda County Board of Supervisors, I want to give you this accommodation. We will mail it to you, but I'm going to read it right now. Um, whereas Dr. Barbara Staggers is being honored by the California School Health Alliance for being a champion for adolescent and community health as well as being both a visionary and leader in school health centers in Alameda County. And whereas Dr. Staggers is a nationally recognized authority on the medical and psychosocial needs of adolescents. And whereas Dr. Staggers earned a bachelor's degree and master's in public health from the University of California, Berkeley and a medical degree from the University of California, San Francisco. And whereas Dr. Staggers completed her pediatric residency at Children's Hospital and Research Center in Oakland, and an Adolescent Medicine Fellow at UCSF. Whereas Dr. Stagger served as the Director of Adolescent Medicine and Children's Hospital Oakland and Director of External Affairs and Community Relations. Whereas in 2002, Dr. Staggers co-founded the Faces for the Future Internship Program in response to a lack of support and opportunities for youth of color and a lack of diversity in health careers. And now many young people across Alameda County our physicians, nurses, social workers, and other healthcare professionals because of this program. And whereas Dr. Staggers paved the way for Alameda County's comprehensive network of school health centers through her work at Berkeley High School Health Center, the Kleinman Chappelle Hayes Clinic, and Youth Uprising. And whereas Dr. Staggers has received several awards, including the Peter E. Haas Public Service Award, the UC Berkeley School of Public Health Alumni Award year, the Regional Public Health Heroes Award, whereas Dr. Staggers was appointed to the Board of Directors of the California Wellness Foundation in 2004 and served as the chair from December 12, 2012 to 2014. Whereas healthcare is a complex system and it takes leaders like Dr. Staggers to question the assumptions and status quo of traditional primary care and work creatively with educational leadership to solve problems for you. Now, therefore, the Alameda County Board of Supervisors does hereby congratulate Dr. Barbara Staggers on being recognized by the California School Health Alliance and thank Dr. Staggers for her dedication to adolescent health access and establishing school health centers in Alameda County. It's signed by the board president, Richard Valle, Keith Carson, Scott Haggerty, Wilma Chan, and Nate Miley. Here in Alameda County, our electeds, thank you for your trailblazing, your persistence that made uh, this uh, possible. Thank you, thank you. And now I'm gonna pass it to Santoy. Thank you, Kimmy. Um, I'm Santoy Trotter, and uh, I have the honor to steward our behavioral health teams at Youth Uprising Castlemont School Based Health Clinic um, and the Chappelle Hayes School Based Health Clinic at McClyman's High Schools. And Dr. Staggers, uh, I know you always say call me Barbara, but Dr. Staggers, when I'm at the Youth Uprising Castlemont School Based Health Center, I have the honor of actually sitting at the desk that was once assigned to you, across from Lisa Wild, who sits in Sue Park's former desk. We know that our school-based health centers were founded by wise and powerful women of color and a collaboration of integrated medical and mental health services. 
I sit at your old desk, which I'm sure you actually rarely sat at, given that every time I saw you, you were in motion. Um, I sit at your desk, but no one can ever fill your shoes. What each of us can do is actually support you to finally to rest, to lay down, to play, to do whatever you want, right? To enjoy this life while we carry out your legacy and your commitment to community health, to prioritize accountability to the communities in which we serve and not be distracted by all the things that healthcare for profit try to distract us by. We can live your legacy by walking in your footsteps, by hiring people who come from community and represent the communities that we serve. We can live out your legacy by no matter where we come from, acting with humility and deep respect for the dignity and life of adolescents and families in Oakland in this unceded Ohlone territory um, or wherever we sit, right? Wherever communities across California that we're working in and making sure their voices are heard and integrated into our work that we partner with the communities that we sit in. We can live out your legacy by being trauma-informed before there was a term or before there was a field of trauma-informed care, right? By teaching children and adolescents that they are more powerful than what has happened to them and also giving them the information to understand the impact of individual and historical trauma and also teach them the resilience and the brilliance of their communities, of their families, of their ancestors, of their inherent birthright and their right to be. We can keep living out your legacy um, by being innovative and listening to that still small voice inside us that drives us forward, even if the systems are not yet built, to do what's best for healthcare, to do the best healthcare practices for Black children and families, for Latinx families, for indigenous families, for LGBTQ communities, and other community, communities that are on the margins of health um, and marginalized by white supremacy and impacted by this widening gap of health disparities. There's, you know, this morning when I was thinking about you, there's this Negro spiritual that came to mind. Um, and it goes like, I'm going to do what the spirit says do. I'm going to do what the spirit says do. If the spirit says shout, I'm going to shout, shout, shout. I'm going to do what the spirit says do. I'm going to heal if the spirit says heal. I'm going to heal if the spirit says heal. I'm going to heal, heal, heal. I'm going to heal, heal, heal. I'm going to do what the spirit says do. So we want to thank you for walking in the footsteps of your ancestors, of your father, of your family. We wanna thank you for doing what needed to be done so that we can each live into our best selves and contribute to justice and health and love as Alex so well reminded us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Dr. Barbara Staggers. And I know we're kind of at our end. I'm gonna to come to Tracy. I wanna share the words that as uh, Staggers asked me to share after you present. I don't want to say anything else because <laughs> it, the power that you all brought is so beautiful. And um, oh, Barbara, I'm just going to give this award. I'm handing it to Santoy to accept on behalf of Barbara. And um, can someone else read it? Because I can't see it, actually, okay. the way I'm doing it. <laughs> in tribute and thanks to Barbara Staggers for starting a movement, creating a legacy, putting youth first. I can't read the last line of the reflection. <laughs> From the um, School Base Health Center Champion Award. And Dr. Staggers asked me to say, uh, in her words, I'm really honored. I appreciate the award and it means so much to me. We were ahead of the game. Continue to make a difference in the lives of kids we love do what needs to be done. Most good things are not easy, but remember it's about the children. I, we're just going to close on Barbara's words. Please feel free to stick around, sign the card for her. Thank you everybody for being here. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs>